Hello, my friends. My name is Anki, and welcome back to another episode of My Time at Sandrock. I'm pretty sure today, Mian is going to come to us, and we're going to go. There she is. Sandrock needs for hello. Hope you got plenty of rest. I prepared the route for our builder crews. I think it's funny that Howdy Partner is somehow such a uh, bizarre statement that we would not know that it meant hello. First stop, the train station. You might have noticed that the floorboards on the platform there are all full of potholes. Well, that ends today. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, I like this. I do like this. It does feel good to be uh, repairing the town and making everything just a little bit nicer. I didn't actually notice because I don't think I've actually here come in here before. Let's fix these holes. Oh yeah, these are bad. These are like, this is just gaping holes in the ground. Confirm. That'll do it. On to the next target. The fence surrounding Martel's Oasis. Builder crews, roll out. Roll out. I like that. Okay, so that was just question marks. There's nothing else to do in here. Let's go. What happens? <laughs> yes! That was awesome. <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to die. Nope. I, uh, I took that train like a champ. All right, here we are. Now, is it just me, or is this fence just a little lacking in the looking department? No offense. <laughs> oh my god, man. No offense to our friend here. The fence? Get it? <clears throat> let's fix up the wonky looking parts and then move on. Yeah, let's fix up your wonky ass humor and then move on too. Uh, you know what, as a- uh, You make a pretty good team, huh? As a- uh, done in a flash. All right, All right. on to our next mission. Beach installation in Town Square. You Let's see, go. one day, I noticed Vivi walking all over town, looking kind of drained. When it suddenly hit me, there's nowhere to sit down anywhere in the center of town. Thus, benches. Nice. Uh, I was going to say that as an amateur uh, connoisseur of dad jokes, frankly, man, that dad joke was pretty good. It was no offense. It was good. I could tell I could tell that you put a lot of thought into it. You really, really wanted it to hit. You really wanted to crack me up. And, uh, you know, that effort, that effort means something in the world. So thank you, Mian, for the wonderful moment. Okay, where is this uh, bench going to go? Oh, just walk in. You just slow down. This looks like a pretty good spot. Where this wire is? Hey, let's see who can build up a bench faster. Ready? Go. Cheater. Ooh, nice. But the real winners are the tired, weary, the huddle masses yearning to sit freely. Now they have these super cool benches to rest on. Okay, man, you know, you're a I was comic. I also thinking we should add some shrubbery. Maybe some flowers. But this soil is just so barren. Uh, well, that's neither here nor there. We did good today. Here. A little something as a token of my appreciation. Lay it on me. You have to join me on this thing, but I'm glad you did. Let's do it again sometime. You know what? I'm down. Three copper plates. That's pretty good. Oh, and you're stuck against the bench. And then you just disappeared. What in the world? What in the Sam Hells? Oh, there's Katori. I'd like to think I have a nose for business. Now, my last venture didn't really work out, and... The one before that was even worse. But this is the time. Third time's the charm, right? I cannot so place long, her Dragon. accent. So long, uh, but I love it. Okay, I think we gotta go find Matilda. Is she giving a, a church sermon again? Now we have to make sure we grab another commission. We've gotta grab these uh, commissions for the festivals. We wanna do all of them. We wanna get as many of those festival badges as possible. Hey there. There we go, day of memories, confirm. Now the festival will be that much better. You prepared these quite quickly. Everyone will be thankful for your contributions. All right, got me some badges. Okay. There's a bench here. What is she talking about? How is she telling me that there is no place to sit when there's two benches, four benches right over here? This story does not add up. I cannot believe it. Mian, what's going on here? I think, I think, you know what? I think, I think Mian just wanted to hang out with us. I think that was her whole motivation. Do you think Mian is fancy on us? Do you think she's sweet on us? There she is. God, she is hard at work. That or she just loves to stare at these. Okay, so rubber shell. I feel like we've gotten a ton of these already. 
Another stage support? Holy crap, look at how much this pays. Five commerce badges? Uh, can I accept this? Yes. That's a ton of money. Let's get the junk. It just explodes. Okay. I want my plans from Chi today. That's what I want. Please tell me they're here. From the church. I have been informed by a Taran government that the train service to Sandrock will cease indefinitely due to the damage to the train tracks and bridge caused by Giegler lizardmen roaming the area across the Shonash Canyon Bridge. This directly affects our water supply as half of our water comes from Atara Sandrock Rail Link. A town meeting will be held at 1800 today to discuss how to deal with these events. May the light be with you, Matilda. God, things are just going from bad to worse. Okay, Atara Times. Everybody hands up no mood. Well, should have been a pleasant ride for upstanding Atarans on their way to Sandrock when suddenly arrived when an infamous local bandit, Logan, and his sidekick, Haru, forcefully halted the passenger cargo train on the Shonash Bridge overlooking the canyon of the same name. This reporter thought happenstance had found themselves in an through happenstance had found themselves in an unbelievable but dutiful position. Barely escaping with my life, I will now regale our avid readers with an eyewitness account of the incident, having been one of the victims myself. The chalky-haired renegade quickly bored from blip. All right. Oh, we can read this. The chalky-haired renegade quickly boarded from his tall steed and proceeded directly to the passenger car. Brandishing a high-caliber revolver, he swung it around like a toy, as if to mock us. Then, motioned his accomplice further toward the back. Those of us in the seat shuddered, thinking back to how peaceful mornings, how our peaceful morning that led us here and wondering how could this be the same life, the same day that once had had hope on the horizon now replaced with such terror. Could this be the end? This is so unbelievably dramatic. Suddenly, a ray of light. Freeze, Logan. We got you now. Sheriff Justice, leader of the Sandrock Civil Courts, bellows out confidently. Yeah, we know how this guy acts. He waits till the very end, rolls in when all things are said and done. A pale glimmer in his eye told us passengers that day was just another one of his many run-ins with peril. And in that moment, we felt some mutual notion of solace. In a great display of cunning, the bandits showed off their contingency plan. In an instant, the assailants smashed through the reinforced glass windows, then fearlessly plunged into the cannon. Rushing to the sill, Justice was the first to see them rising through the air, carried by some wing machination and far, far from the clutches of law and order. In the aftermath, this reporter, puzzled, relieved, and inquisitive, sought after the civil corpse leader for questioning, but was met only with the cold shoulder of pu a public servant silently buried in the notes of his own. Following some independent research, however, some information did make itself available. But these answers led only to more questions. What caused Logan to turn on his hometown? Has some cruel twist of fate pushed him to madness? Or is it simply the degeneration of his own morality? To even guess would be bold. In a matter of moments on that train, a full spectrum of human potential was put on display. And to even attempt to understand it now would be folly. Please stay with us as we continue to cover this event and stay tuned to updates on the situation. We encourage our readers to write in as well with their own opinions. Written by Ernest, edited by Eduardo for publication in the Artara Times, the Tumbleweed Standard, and other affiliates. Wow, what a story. Look at this, Ernie's world. The train that brought me here has not yet led out that piercing whistle that would lead me home. The ice in my sand tea is melting, but keeps some semblance of form. The ink of this page is still mostly wet. The window of a yakmail station. Children not in school, a worn woman clutching a pastry. Far and away from the hustle, bustle city life. Travel down crooked paths and winding roads of barren melancholy, and you just might, barring some untimely encounter with violent desperados, instead come face to face with unapologetic unadulterated humanity here in Sandrock. Like a wary vinyl record, the fine sand sizzle as they run their needs through their needle through the groove and valley of the dunes strewn about like a thin pancake released from a raging kiln fire onto an ambivalent mezzanine. If I am to be expunged from this mortal coil in some manner unanticipated, unanticipated, I hope that you'll bury me where my soul can light a flame one last time in Sandrock. Ernest. Wow, what a story. Both of these are incredible, actually. Still no uh, still no plans from Chi. Makes me sad. That's okay. We won't be too upset about it. Look at these piles of bronze. I love that these just sit out here. I thought they said the train was not a coming anymore. That, my friends, was apparently a lie. Okay, so we got to turn in these rubber shells. Let's take a look at our other commissions. Free city commission. We have to build ourselves another stage support. Okay, so in order to do this... 
We have to retrieve all of these. And stage support. Assemble. Okay, we have plenty of bronze bars. We need stone slate. What else do we need? We need wooden boards. We need stone slate and wooden boards. Well, I think we can make wooden boards right here, if I'm not mistaken. We can only make seven. This is not good. We'll have to go rummaging around, and then it looks like we're gonna need more bricks. Bricks, we make those in the furnace. How many bricks are we gonna need? Let's math this. Okay, we need eight stone slates. In order to make a stone slate, we need two bricks. So eight times two, that's 16 bricks. This will make 10, we'll make eight here. And we'll make eight, oops, whoops. Eight here, oops, that's a, uh, what the heck? Let's fix this. Quick build, there we go. Nine, nine, here we go. And then we're gonna need wood. We're gonna need some wood. So I guess we go wood hunting today. Let's see. I think today might be the last day of our, we're just gonna throw a fine wood scrap. Sure, let's do that. Today might be the last day for our pass. So let's go check that out first. And then on the way there and on the way back, we'll wander around and we'll chop a bunch of this stuff down. And hopefully that'll get us the wood we need to finish this stage. Um, Cause this gets us some uh, shop, like, I don't know, some badges. I didn't really pay that much attention to what it gets us. I just know it gets us something. Okay, are we allowed in? Nay, we'd have to buy a pass. Okay. Well, I don't think we're gonna go diving deep today. So we could do that if we still need scrap. We'll have plenty of time to do that. Copper scrap, don't care. I feel like there's usually wood scrap over here. Yep, look at this. This has usually been enough for us to get ourselves on wood. So, oops, that's copper. I guess it wouldn't hurt to chop it down while we're here, but let's stay focused. We need to get the scrap. And then we need to get it in the processor as quickly as possible. Here we go, even more. That 1800 goal that we might get from this would be incredible though. I'm not gonna lie, that would be pretty freaking helpful. Okay, we'll just gather this up. Nasty wood pile. Toot toot. Uh, we also need to go turn in this rubber pretty quick here. Wood scrap, there you go. Um, we'll do the fine wood scrap. Fine wood scrap just gets us, it doesn't actually look like it gets us what we need, so we'll do this rubber here. Let's go turn this in before it gets much later. I wanna cross this off the list. One day we'll have a horse and this will be a lot easier. Getting that 1800 will get us a lot closer to, I think we'd be able to expand the farm, the farm, the shop one more time, which will give us more than enough space to have a stable. Of course, we have yet to find iron and get ourselves iron bars. I'm sure that that will unlock the area to do that in due time. And uh, then we'll probably have to mine for it, which will be a little bit of work. So it's a ways out, but it is our number one goal before we do anything else. We need to run around on a horse or a yak mill just for my own personal joy. There he is, Mr. Miguel. Confirm, thanks for these. Now the festival will be that much better. You prepared these quite quickly. Everyone will be thankful for your contributions. My pleasure. 10, now 20 festival badges. Uh, pretty freaking good. Look at these. Oh, he's training Burgess how to be a fighter. That is so cute. I mean, Burgess did get accosted by those nasty gigglers. Oh, I wish we could have jumped on that. So I don't blame him. The guy needs some sort of self-defense. There's trash up here. That's funny. Whoa. Watch where you're pointing that thing. Ooh, 
we might actually have enough. What do you know? Bricks, three to eight. Well, let's keep going. Let's see if we can find any more wood scrap around here. I rarely see it over this way, but it can't hurt. Well, there's a pile of junk. We might as well grab that. Stone pile, that's not gonna do it. Well, we're here. Honestly, let's see. Where's my goals? We have a lot of goals, actually. Honestly, the best way to get our hands on scrap would be to buy a pass. So why don't we do that? Did you just take a dump? Did I just hear a yakmel poop? Well, that was gross. Thanks for that. Uh, oh, maybe not. Look, there's quite a bit of scrap that we missed. And it's already... Well, we should buy the pass regardless because we can um, hack that stuff down after we've gotten all this. We need to be, we're gonna have to go join the meeting in a few hours anyways. Things are just getting from bad to worse. Food has gone through the roof. We're still trying to repair the hydrogel. Not good on both accounts. And now water shortage, huh? This is bad. Why don't we research dew collectors and then start Dew in the dew. Collect some dew and that'll allow us to at least lessen the burden. Lessen the burden on the town for water. Let me in. Here we go, look at that. I put my whole soul into these chops, look at me. Well, while we were doing that, there's some water right here. Too bad I'm too good of a person or I'd steal it. Uh, while we were doing that, actually, I think we got ourselves another knowledge point. Why don't we take a look at this? Treasure map? Nah, I get twice as many drags when digging through junk piles. Twice as many do when collecting herbs. Don't care that much. Don't care that much. Logging and kicking trees. Don't care. Double XP from scavenging, from mining. I think that's the one. Both of these are probably good. Oh, extra materials when mining. That might've been better. Oh, well, we'll get them all eventually. There was a crab in there. Come here. Oh, I missed it. I had to gather it. I thought I had to attack it. Looks like they're heading towards the meeting. Or at least Rocky's out there cruising. Let's see. I need one more wooden board. Ugh. There's wood in those. Who would have thought? Well, that's convenient. What are you guys talking about?
Bow wow. Okay, we can take a moment to chat with everybody. Just to say hi. Don't forget to stop into Construction Junction sometime. After you let me add some upgrades to your workshop, you'll wonder how you lived without them. You know, I do feel that way about the extra space that Catch we got. Catch you later. That was actually pretty good. Uh, we haven't talked to Jasmine in a while. She really had a strong showing when she gave that report of the business. That was hilarious. I'm not big yet, but I can still deliver the mail. Oh, did you get your subscription for the Tumbleweed Standard yet? I sure did, and it was amazing. Hats off to the writers there. Okay, here we go. Them gigglers are out of control, picking apart our bridge. They're trying to destroy our way of life and drain our water hole. It only stands to reason that their end goal is <laughs> world domination and the end of civilization as we know it. <laughs> this guy is ridiculous. How is this guy quickly becoming like the main character? <laughs> Everything you've just said is wrong. <laughs> the gigglers are just trying to survive. They likely fear us more than we fear them. I don't care. I think we should murder them all. If and that's the case, why come they went and attacked your farm? <laughs> ha! Farm! Oh, oh, got you there, Zeke. Settle down, everyone. I think most of us are here now. Before we jump to conclusions, let's hear all the facts. Okay, Burgess. Allow me, Burgess. Yeah, thank you, Matilda. Oh, uh, sure. I was pretty much done anyway. Yeah, yeah. People of Sandrock, the light has taken upon itself to test us with yet another challenge. Another menace to disturb the peace in this town. First, Logan and his gang, and now this. You know, I will be fair. Uh, the people of Sandrock do seem to have it rough. I would say they don't do any themselves any favors through incompetence, but, you know, having a bandit that's smashing their trains, I mean, that's why the train's not coming, and now the Gigglers are smashing up their food farm, it's not good. Things are not good for the poor people of Sandrock. In the past, those Gigglers have hit us where it hurts, but we Sandrockers, through love and determination, we got back up again. We tightened our belts. Every brother and sister here aided and received aid in kind. And then we danced away our sorrows. <laughs> yes, we did. We turned crisis into laughter. But I'm afraid, folks, this time we cannot turn the other cheek. Oh, we're going to war. That bridge is our lifeline to the outside world. This aggression will not stand. Oh, let's go. Meanwhile, the Alliance Council in Atara, according to our representative Gregorsik, are sitting around in their big building, twiddling their thumbs, sipping fancy tea, while Sandrock dries up into a piddling hole in the ground. Oh, she's pissed. This is a local issue. Why should they care? Now we could just sit around and wait for them to get their act together and send help. Or we could solve it ourselves. Are we about to have a Giggler massacre? The way I see it, the course of action is clear. We send the Civil Corps into Gecko Station to clear the Gigglers out. Then, once the coast is clear, we send in our builders to reinforce that rickety bridge. We'll have our water supply back in no time. All right. I All right. reckon it's going to be us or them. And from where I'm standing, it ain't going to be us. Wow. Who's with me? Oh, she's got some real George Bush vibes going on right now. I hereby authorize Sheriff Justice to come up with a plan. And then we will act. We will protect our sand rock. Uh, one thing that I've noticed is that every time I hit spacebar, the little uh, arrow just snaps... Sheriff? Water tank, no water. No good. Okay, well, let's say hi to Zeke. We like this guy. Mm. I still think there's got to be a better way than chasing the lizard folk out of their new home. Even if we pull it off, they'll be back. Uh, well, this guy, I feel like, has some compassion. Burgess? Mm -hmm. What What am I going to sell at my water tower without water? Smiles. No, how could I even? The smiles will always be free. Oh, Have my a good God. day. This is why I hate this guy. He's only thinking about the fact that he is not going to be able to make money. What a jerk. Miguel, what say you? Hmm. We sand rockers are used to crisis. It's a shame things have escalated so quickly since your arrival, but, well, we welcome you to the show. Stay strong, builder. Uh, you Take know, care. I like that guy, actually. Pen, here we go. What nonsense ah. do you have? 
Why did not I just let me face all the gigglers myself? Might actually have myself a fair fight for once. But alas, old lady Matilda wants me to stay in town and keep everyone safe. What do you do here exactly? It just seems like you walk around with your silly cape and just talk. Have we seen this guy actually do anything? I don't think so. Uh, he did kick our ass in uh, that very first fight. But you know what? It's not like we're, uh, we're insanely strong or anything like that. We're not. So, I don't know. I don't know about that guy. He might just be a total fraud. Well, shoot. There's Amira. Let's say hi, hi. to her. Hi. Mm -hmm. Seems like Minister Matilda's really had enough of these lizard folk. That was quite the speech. I'd hate to be an enemy of Sandrock. Okay, so she's yeah. on board. She's totally on board with uh, genocide and murder. We have to get some water in our tank. This is not good. Adjust. All of it. There we go. And that's only going to fill it up a little bit of a way. So we're going to have to go get our hands on some more water. This will get us through. Um, let's see. We've got ourselves aboard. Now we need stone slate. Oh, but we still need bricks. Oh, and it ran out. So it's going to take a day. Well, let's get those up. There we go. Another minute on each of these. Well, we can, we can find something to do for the next couple of minutes. You know what I'm going to do with this, though? So I'm going to stop this. These, and I'm going to stop this too. Wrong one. The reason being is uh, we don't need to be spending any, uh, using up any unnecessary water. That's my motivation here. When water is so scarce, we might really have a hard time getting our, uh, getting ourselves um, water. Let's go see if he has any in the shop, actually, because if he can't sell it, we might be in big trouble. Now, obviously, you can just bottle a bunch of this, but the price is probably going to spike. Well, good on you, bud. You're over here picking up garbage. I got gotcha. you. Okay, well, I can buy all of these. Does it just get more expensive? Is that what's happening? Well, I just spent all of my money on water. Hopefully that was the right call. I mean, we'll need it eventually, right? I think what happened was I bought it all at a certain price and then the next price it was more expensive, but I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe I just didn't have enough money to buy all of it. Well, we got water now. We will get our hands on, what, 1,800 as soon as these stones are done, so I'm not too worried about it. Yo, what the heck? There we go. Full, beautiful. Okay, we do this, we'll do this. Processor, stone slates. How many did we need? I think we needed eight. Is that right? Eight stone slate. Okay. There we go. Quick build. That'll do it. Beautiful. Okay, my friends. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know. What do you think of the trouble Sandrock is in? I do love, you know, it doesn't feel like it's high stakes. I'm not stressed out, but it does really feel like things are bad here. And I like that vibe. It's like, man, we are just climbing up a hill. Every time we try to do something good for the town, something else falls off the train. Kind of a fun story. Well, my friends, I appreciate you. I will bid you farewell, and I look forward to seeing you next time.